Hi, and welcome to C Programming. In the previous two lessons, we discussed how we can use the scanf function to get input from the user. We discussed how to get integer inputs and also float inputs by using the scanf function. And we also discussed how to get character inputs from the user by using the scanf function. With character inputs and the scanf, we also needed to use the if flush statement to clear the input stream of the enter. Why? Because when we enter characters into command prompt and we need to stop the scanf statement, we need to press enter. And the, the enter key is also picked up as a character input. So without the f flush um, standard in statement, we are getting some problems because now the enter sign is inside the input stream and when we do the second scan if our output at the end is incorrect. So let's run this and you will see how the scan if function with the f flush works. Okay, so we get an A and uh, as the input and we get a B as the input and then we output A and B. But without the f flush statement, that would not be possible. Okay. But now we want to discuss in this lesson the get char um, function. Now the get char function is a little bit different from the scanf function, but it's also a very easy way to get character input from the user. So we're going to take this whole part away. And what we're going to do is we're going to say input one is equal to and the get chart function is get ch round brackets and that's it okay and that will get a character from the user and it's easy as that so we can do that for both ways for both input one and input two variables and that's how we get the input from the user by using get chart so if we run this program you can see it there. I'm going to enter A. I'm not, not going to press enter. So I'm just going to enter the character A and then the character B by and not pressing enter at all. So the get char function doesn't have to end by using the enter key, like in the case of the scan if. It only gets one character when the user click presses it on the keyboard and then it continues. So you don't have to use a flush then. But there's a problem, so you will see it now. I'm gonna press A now. I press A. Did you see anything in the command prompt? No. I'm gonna press B. And nothing is shown in the command prompt when the user enters A and B. But in the output, you can see A and B is present. So what's the problem? The get char function only gets um, the character input but it doesn't give um, an indication that the user actually entered something in command prompt so it's kind of difficult to give the user feedback with using only the get char function so what we normally recommend is to use a printf statement and to give the user the feedback of the actual input. So we say input one, and we can add a new line. And this will give the user that feedback that something was actually entered. And then we say input two. Okay, and now if we run this, oh, don't open file, just want to save, and I build and run, now, when I get my program here, if I enter A, it will show A, and if I press B, it will show B, and then we get the output A and B. So that's the minor difference between the scanf and the getchar function. The getchar function is very good in the sense that you don't have to use the f flush function to clean up the um, input stream. But unfortunately, if you want to give your user some feedback, you need to add a printf statement with the actual input. Okay, and that's the getchar function, ladies and gents. 
Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.